This is a snack bar opened around the city, the owner is a 60-year-old Deborah. Three years ago, Deborah was a retired worker, Deborah went to the square to dance in the square when she was free, Deborah lived the life that the elderly should live. But after such a long time, Deborah felt very bored and stayed at home all day, and there were many physical problems, so Deborah chose to sell snacks on the street. Deborah found that the local pork offal was very cheap, but not many people bought it. Pork offal is mainly cumbersome to deal with, and many people do not taste good. So Deborah saw a business opportunity. I saw that Deborah buys pork offal at a low price from the pork boss every day. Deborah took the pork offal home, cleaned it and then sold it on the street. Deborah also launched a pork offal free to eat package, which only costs $5 to eat. Deborah's store has attracted a large number of customers when it first opened. Now, Deborah has also launched a pork offal free meal package, which can be eaten for only $5. Deborah cooks hundreds of caddies of pork offal every day, earning more than $400 a day. A tea this moment, Deborah was also busy in front of the booth, and the first thing Deborah did when she came to the store was to take the pork offal out of the bag. These pork offals are bought fresh that day and Deborah cleans them at home, only then did I get the booth here. I saw that Deborah first threw the lard into the pan to fry. Do these lard look like a chicken head? In fact, its name is called coxcomb oil. This kind of coxcomb oil was often used to boil lard in China, and it tastes very fragrant. But as many experts say that eating lard isn't healthy, no one eats this kind of coxcomb oil. But here, there are not so many experts who advise all day long, so this kind of coxcomb oil is very popular. They think it tastes very fragrant after being fried. It can be seen that as the temperature rises, the coxcomb oil is also fried fragrantly, and the lard is also fried quickly, and the whole stall exudes a strong aroma after the coxcomb oil turns brown. You can throw the pork offal into the pan for frying, so that you can use the lard to fry the pork offal. After some of the pork offal and coxcomb oil were fried, Deborah began to pour new coxcomb oil into the pot to fry together. It is this big pot of coxcomb oil, which probably weighs tens of caddies. The crackling sound can be heard throughout the booth, which is really relaxing and satisfying. After the coxcomb oil is fried and golden on both sides, it can be cut into small pieces with scissors. These coxcomb oils start to become smaller after being fried, and at the same time become more springy, absolutely elastic when bitten down. In order to increase the aroma of these pork offals, Deborah will also pour some cumin powder and onions into the pot. With the addition of these seasonings, the whole stall is even more fragrant. Many customers came to watch after smelling the strong aroma of pork offal. After these pork offal and coxcomb oil are all cooked, they can be packaged and sold. Deborah will put the coxcomb oil on a piece of tin foil, which is more insulated, of course. Hot and sour kimchi is indispensable for eating here, just like this. A pork offal is served hot in front of customers, paired with a few sips of wine. It is simply too comfortable. To eat pork offal here at Deborah. You can eat as much as you like for only $5 per person, no matter how much you eat. Many people are afraid that Deborah will lose money, but Deborah said that there is no need to worry. Although pork offal is delicious, you can't eat much because it is easy to get tired because the business is too hot while frying pork offal. Deborah will also add new coxcomb oil. Deborah is very busy every day, but Deborah is also enjoying it. Deborah said that now that she is in her 60s, she shouldn't be at home all day. Even if you are not sick, you will be sick. Deborah's hot business. Deborah can sell more than 200 caddies of coxcomb oil in one day alone, easily earning more than 400 US dollars, which is much more than many people's part-time jobs. Finally, I wonder if you like to eat such fried pork offal. What do you think of the taste? Welcome everyone to leave a message to.